What is up guys? Today I come to you with a double review of Gintama the manga chapter 604 and 605. Now 604, there wasn't much dialogue going on. It was just the sake of fighting against Yutsuro and his undead army and everybody was just going in and then when we saw Gintoki he's like He's not trying to pull any strings. He's not holding back anymore. He's not looking at Yutsuro as this old teacher. He's just looking at him as an everyday villain that wants to ruin the peace in his life and many others' lives. So he's fighting the undead army. Like, no matter how much they cut, they stab, no matter what they do, it's like... It's all in vain. Like, they keep cutting them down and they keep getting back up. There was this one particular character. I, at first, I almost mistaken him for um, uh, Jericho. Of course, Jericho, who knows if Jericho might come back later into the series to help them out. Hopefully, he does. But he almost looked like him. I almost mistaken him for that uh, Jericho because he had that scar. But he was another um, crow or... Yeah, so a Tenshu member, and he was fighting Gintoki, and we thought, okay, he died, but he didn't, he actually received Yutsuro's blood, so no matter how much Gintoki was smashing him down to the ground, he just kept getting back up, and then we just saw, like, like, different dead people, like, with heads cut off, their necks falling off their, their, their body, and it was just, it was a really gruesome sight to see as well, and the fact that Yutsuro just kept provoking Gintoki and taunting him throughout that chapter saying that your sword will never reach me. Every time Gintoki's sword is about to reach him, it never actually makes an impact. And before Gintoki can actually make that impact, there's a huge explosion. The um that Prince and Sho, he came and threw like multiple bombs on their location, so they had to run away. Um, Nobume saved Gintoki, and that's when we get into chapter 605. Now, to start off with 605, we get an announcement that Gintama is greenlit for another anime season. So this will be the fourth season of Gintama the anime. The first season happened back in 2006. The second season was in 2011. Um, I would not count and chosen as a season by itself. I would partner up with season two. Season three just happened a year ago in April and finished this year, this March. So I'm assuming um, season four will be next year if not next year then 2018 but it would have been really good if it came out next year because the live action movie that's coming out as well but this chapter by the end of it had me in tears in tears of joy and i've been asking for this for such a while and finally gorilla sensei has heard our our prayers he heard us and he delivered to us by the end of this chapter now they managed to escape yutsuro whether they were able to escape or he allowed them to escape that's all up in the air but in this chapter you kind of saw gintoki kind of doubting himself like you know every time i try to run away from my past or i try to move forward it's like i'm being drawn back and we see with liberation army is just blowing up where they're living we see where soyo um soyo um you know the sister of shigeshiki the former shogun she goes back to the castle, even though she's supposed to be under the protection of the other ninjas, while um, Zanzo, Zenzo, he's off doing his own thing. We don't know what he's going to be doing. And she goes back to the castle and tells all the other retainers there who are still fussing over, like, we don't know what to do. This country's in shambles. Or we should have gave up a long time. They, they're, they're at, at a moment they are lost right now. And she goes in and says, you guys go on. I'll stay here and try to do all that I can do. And don't regard me as a princess. Consider me Shigeshiki's little sister. And she's there. And the Liberation Army just blows up the entire castle. She's in there. And we don't know if she's safe. If, if she managed to escape. If someone rescued her. And everybody watches the the temple, the castle get blown up. And they're devastated. And you just saw Gintoki. We saw this look on his face so many times. More times than I can count. Where he just has like a, like a shadow cast over his face. And like he's on the verge of giving up. But what really got to me. And I think it, like I think a lot of people have probably cried at the end of this chapter. Was these words that were said. Just when Gintoki felt like he was going to give up. Like, they're, everything they're doing, and, and no matter how much they fight, it's like, they cannot beat Yutsuro. They cannot beat him, and it's like, they're running around in circles. 
and just before Gintoki is about to give up, someone shouts, it's not over yet. Don't go ending things that easy. Face forward. Grab your sword. Fight on Eurozia. Fight on Eurozia with us. And at that last panel, a huge picture, we see Kondo-san looking so badass. Because remember, he got that scar during the Shinsengumi farewell arc from, I believe it was, um, oh, no, um, what's his name? I forgot his name for a second. I forgot, but I know who I'm talking about. He got that scar from him. And you see him with Hichikata and, and Okita. And they're just standing in that panel. And it just looks so badass. It's just like, yo, Shinsengumi come back looking strong as hell. They're looking really cool in their new uniforms. They have new uniforms right now. So when he said, when, when, um, Sorochi Sensei said he's gonna bring back everyone. He means everyone. So if we see the Shinsengumi, you can get you can guarantee that Jericho is gonna come back. We're gonna see some other characters, like those who help in past arts. We're gonna see um Jericho's daughter. Where possibly Kamui is gonna come back. We have yet to see um Takasugi come back again, but possibly he will be. Um Umi Bozu. We're gonna see a lot of characters come in to help and defeat Yutsuro and save their home planet but yo this chapter was so good we just saw like you know it, it was a really sad chapter especially for Gintoki because he was on the verge of giving up again he felt like yo I can defeat Yutsuro no matter what I do I feel like I, I'm going back to my past instead of moving forward um I'm trying to help my friends and yet I can't help them Everything is, is crumbling into shambles, into pieces, and I don't know how to fix it. And yet you hear this booming voice telling you to grab your sword and to don't give up. And it just ends off on that chapter, it ends off in such an epic way. And just like the announcement of the anime and the live action is just, this chapter got you really pumped up for what we're going to see in the next chapter for this final arc. It's just, it's unbelievable to know that Gintama is going to be ending soon, but we, we, we're going to take it, we're going to take it and muster it up and just see what goes on for the remaining of this series. So if you saw chapter 604 and 605, tell me what were your thoughts on those both chapters? How do you feel about the return of the Shinsengumi? How do you feel that... How do you feel about the anime returning? Are you anticipating the live action movie as well? What, what, what are your thoughts for that? The links are in the description box as always. So you guys go check that out. And I'm Kimmy Chan of Anime Legends Podcast. And I will see you guys later. Bye.